What's going on people, Ivan from I'll Get My Tools. Today I'm reviewing the Ego 8 inch edger. If you guys want a clean, meticulous, and top flight professional lawn, you gotta get yourself an edger. You can't use that weed whacker and act like you know what you're doing all the time making those edges. These edgers do what they're built to do. This particular unit by Ego has removable power head attachments. You can have a weed whacker installed, a pole saw, power brush, tiller, cultivator, they got a hedge trimmer, and a rubber broom. All you do is press a little button, take this bad boy off, and have all your new attachments. Eagle has a fantastic system right here. We're gonna go through all the features of it, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So while you're at it, do me a favor, like and subscribe to my channels. I do all kinds of reviews on tools. I show you how to build things, do things, and all other kinds of man stuff. So coming out the box, you have your eight inch edger, along with your Eagle power unit and the motor on this side. It comes with an Allen key, along with your socket set to change the blade when need be, and you got your handle. The only problem with this, battery and charger not included. All right, so that's why it's a buck 70. Usually the charger and battery are about a $200 extra feature. It sucks, they are expensive, but the best part is they interchange with all of the other Ego equipment, chainsaws, blowers, weed whackers, lawnmowers, you name it. The batteries work with all the tools. So I suggest you get at least two batteries so you always got one charged. All right, now let's go through the tool itself. All right, so I love this tool. I already used it. My son just had a birthday party like two days ago, so I had to edge the whole freaking lawn. This did a fantastic job. I got well over one hour of use out of it, and the blade was just as good as the gas powered ones. Now look, people, I know a lot of you are struggling between battery powered and gas powered. I, like you, have had gas powered everything, and you know what? This stuff sucks, man. How many fuel-related issues do you have? Spark plug issues, dirty carburetors, dirty air filters, recoil issues, the pull cord breaks, then you flood the engine, you always need fresh gas or 50 to 1 uh, fuel mix ratio. Combustion has its place, but don't ignore battery and where this technology is going in the future. This thing needs none of that. All it needs is a charged battery. These particular batteries, what I use for this one is the 4.0 amp hour battery, which I got with my Weed Whacker. It takes about 45 minutes to get a full charge. And like I said, I got over one hour use with this particular edge unit. I've got about a half acre lot. That's plenty. And I'm sure that's plenty for most residents and most homeowners. Is it good for professional landscapers? I don't think they're there yet. Just because the battery is only going to be about an hour's time. Maybe if you load up your truck with a bunch of batteries, you'd be good for your day's work, but they're not there yet in my personal opinion. But for the average homeowner, this thing's above and beyond fantastic. All right, so you got your motor over here. All right, you got your safety mechanism with your pull trigger. So you gotta pull the safety first and then you activate it. You got two different speeds, speed one and speed two. All right, low and high, duh. You got your handle, you can put it on, slide it wherever you want it for comfort and portability. And then you have your detachable head right here, okay? Ego has this little green knob, you can turn that to loosen it up, like so. Not too much, you don't gotta fall it off. All right, you just push this button here. All right, so let's go over the edge of your head real quick. This comes with an eight inch blade, easy to take off. I'll go over that after. All right, it comes with an edge guard right here, as you can see. You can slide that in between your concrete or your edging, whatever you need to keep a straight line and kind of get the tool locked in. That's actually a great feature. Then you have your guide wheel right here. You turn it to the left to loosen it up. All right, and that will allow you to set your depth. If you want it lower, it does about an eighth inch to a quarter inch, all the way up to about a two and a half inch cut, which is pretty good when you're really trying to set those flower beds. All right, and now there's actually this screw right here. You can take that out. Um, there's actually a fluid in there, a transmission fluid, if you will. Eagle recommends, I believe, after every 50 hours of use to just change the fluid. Um, it's a very small reservoir right there. You got your gears in there. It's a very quick change, all right? 50 hours of use, what's that? About once a year. So to maintain the gears, just change the fluid every year. It's not a big deal, right? Then you have your rubber guard over here. 
Um, the housing itself is cast aluminum, or if you're from other countries, aluminium. I don't know why we don't say aluminium. It sounds a lot cooler than aluminum, right? It's solid, it's lightweight, and it's sturdy. And to put this in the attachment is extremely simple. You see that? You have a yellow arrow with a red line. All you have to do is line up the arrow with that arrow right there. Like so. You heard that click? Then you just tighten the knob, pop on your battery. This is the 4.0 amp hour battery from Ego. Again, this does not come with this particular edge kit. It came with my weed whacker. Just quickly, this boy is a badass. The arc design was designed by Tony Stark from Iron Man. I'm just kidding. It allows the batteries inside to stay cooler for longer and allows this whole unit to last a whole lot longer. It was greatly designed, um, very well manufactured, and it also has, look at that, it tells you how much batteries are left in here so you know how much work you can get done. They thought of everything with this bad boy. Now this one is a little heavy, all right? The 4.0 amp hour battery like this one here is just under five pounds. The 5.0 amp battery a little over five pounds, but this is what you're gonna to need to get well over one hour's worth of work. If you had the 2.5 hour battery, that'll give you probably a half an hour, give or take, which should be more than enough for a lot of you people, depending on how big your yards are, right? All right, so you just take your battery and it slides right on and you're good to go, all right? As I said, you just push your safety and press the button. And the good thing about this edger, it has an adjustable power button. So the more you press, the more power. The less you press, the less power. Isn't that nice? I know, it's so nice. Hear it. All right, and I said before, you've got two speeds. Low and high. Great system. I love it. Now let me just show you how to change the blade real quick. It's super easy. First thing you want to do, take out the battery. You don't want to chop your hands off, right? You can either leave the head on or take it off. I'm just going to take it off. To make my life a little bit easier. So just turn the green knob, push the button, little twist, and it should slide right out. All right, I'm going to show you how to change the blade without actually changing the blade, but I'll give you a quick little walkthrough, okay? So you got a cotter pin right here. It actually comes with a second cotter pin in the box as well because these always break. So you just pull these two forward, pull the cotter pin out. The next thing, you're going to move the blade till you come to that hole right there. Can you guys see that? Take the supplied Allen key, put that in there. That locks it. All right, so look, we can't go anywhere. Isn't that nice? Now, you got your cotter pin out. You're going to take your socket, which comes in a box. You put that bad boy down. Now, listen, we were all taught lefty-loosey, right? This is different. This is a reverse thread because the way that the blade spins. So it's actually righty-loosey, righty-loosey. So we're going to go this way. Just go that a bunch of times. You'll get that nut out, this discussion comes right out, and then the blade, all right? Put it back together, put the blade on, put your escutcheon cap, is that what it's called? I just made that up. Put your socket back in. Now, lefty tidy. Tighten it up, lefty tidy. Put your cotter pin back in, and then bend the two ends back. It's a simple procedure, man. You can do it. And again, any other 8-inch blade from any other manufacturer is going to work as well. You don't need an ego-specific blade because you know how that's going to go. Yoink!
Okay, so I just showed you a little bit of video of the edger in action. Um, unfortunately, I did my raised beds for my kids' party a couple of days ago. So I know a lot of you are asking, is battery power, can it really cut through the thick grass, thick dirt? And you know what? It absolutely can. Those last couple of videos, as you saw, I was able to make those sweet cuts through those flower beds without any issue. It cut like butter, just like the gas engines do. So I'm very happy with this thing. It's going to be all that I need to maintain my yard, making it look meticulous. Again, you can't keep using the weed whacker to make your edges, people. These edgers are built for what they're built for, to make smooth, meticulous lines along your concrete, curbs, uh, sidewalks, and all of your flower beds and raised gardens. You got to get these. It's going to give your garden that next level look. So I'll leave it at that. Again, check out my other video on the Weed Whacker. It's an amazing tool as well, and I will be getting more Ego products in the future to review because I'm really liking this system, the efficiency, the quality of build, and the actual work time with each of these tools. These batteries last a long time. Perfect for any residential or homeowner. You guys will be satisfied as well. So let's close this out. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.